on September 9th, 2001. Two planes crashed towers one and two at the World Trade Center. Another plane struck the Pentagon. And finally, a plane supposedly targeting the White House crashed before it could reach its target. Al-Qaeda, a terrorist organization from the Middle East, later claimed for the attack. But is that entirely true? There are many coincidences, many things that don't make sense unless you consider that it was actually a job from the inside. One glaring issue is the way the Twin Towers fell. One may notice that the way the Twin Towers fall is exactly how demolitionists aim to bring down tall buildings. Doing some research, you can find that when buildings demolitionists aim to bring down such large buildings as safe as possible, they cause explosions along the bottom and the center, simultaneously causing the building to fall straight down upon itself, limiting the damage that could be done to buildings around it. You may notice from these three pictures here, that's exactly how the towers fell, limiting damage to the buildings around them. Very suspicious. If the building, the way the building fell was the only thing, then perhaps we could write it off as a coincidence. However, then we come across the mysterious collapse of Building 7. Building 7 was one of the main buildings surrounding the two towers. Supposedly it was damaged by fire, which caused it to collapse. Many videos are out in the public domain allowing many different analysts to analyze the building in its fall. Building 7 reportedly burned for 7 hours before it collapsed. Building 7 had a steel frame. Before Building 7 never had a steel frame building collapse due to fire. Partial collapses had occurred, but never an entire building. In the 9-11 Commission report, Building 7 was suspiciously not mentioned. The investigation of the NIST took over 7 years to conduct and issue its report, yet strangely, Building 7 was not mentioned. Moving on to the towers themselves, many architects disagree on whether or not the plane could have been brought down by either of the towers. One glaring problem is the material of the towers. Twin towers are made out of a steel mainframe. The reason steel is chosen to make such tall buildings is because it's light but also very strong. It is thought that the fuel from the airplanes could have such extreme heat that it melted the steel beams, causing it to fall. However, many architects argue that even if the fuel spilled and caused the fires, it couldn't have melted enough steel beams to cause the collapse of the building. There are many news clips and other sorts looking into the second crashing of the plane. However, only a few clips remain of the first plane crashing in the Twin Tower. One video ca is captured from a tourist who was visiting New York. They were filming the first tower when the plane flew into it. In, the clip you can, in this clip, a plane would fly straight through it, almost like cutting it like butter. This, turn, this video has turned many people into believing that there was something else behind the incident. The plane that ran over the Twin Tower is made out of aluminum, metal chosen because it was strong but also super light. The problem lies in the fact that Twin Tower is made out of steel. Steel is incredibly stronger than aluminum. And at the speed which the planes are estimated traveling at, the plane shouldn't have been able to cut through the, the tower. However, if the steel beams were perhaps tampered with, the aluminum could have easily gone through the weakened steel. One can only accept so many coincidences before they accept they are no longer coincidences. The events that took place on 9-11 were indeed a tragedy. However, was it a tragedy of terrorism? Or perhaps was it the act of a government? Whether you accept the information that's put out to you is up to you. Now, this is part of the video in which I actually debunk this. Um, I can't, with a good conscience, make this video without going into the fact of how you can manipulate things to make them seem incorrect. For example, uh, you know, you talk about all these government conspiracies and blah, 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 and how it's an inside job. However, we're going to go through each of the things I just mentioned and bring up facts that, if you didn't know, you'd probably be very suspicious of. So when we come to the way the buildings fall, uh, you, bring, you bring up the fact that this is how demolitions bring down buildings. However, uh, if you actually look into some research done about the way the buildings were made and uh, actually look into some architects, you'll find that there was no other way for the building to fall than in on itself because the plane crashed through it, damaging the center. Uh, you, it'll also talk about not damaging others around it, but you will see that uh, it actually caused widespread damage to all the buildings around it, uh, which actually resulted in Building 7's collapse. Going on to Building 7, uh, you may notice that Building 7 is over here, Wind Towers 1 and 2 are here. The thing about this is... Uh, 
the firefighters knew Building 7 was on fire uh, very early on. But uh, they decided that uh, getting as many people out as they could from, uh, from the first and second towers would be the best, and instead just gave up on Building 7. The owners of Building 7 have actually praised the firefighters for doing so. They, uh, well, they are sad for the loss of the building. They understand that human lives greatly overweighed the loss of the building. Going on to the 9-11 Commission's report, uh, the, the Building 7 was suspiciously not mentioned. It was mostly because uh, Building 7 wasn't actually clearly an aim for the terrorists. Uh, building 7 was like an accident. You know, buildings, they, they were targeting the two towers, and Building 7 was damaged by fires, which caused it to collapse. You know, when we go on the collapse, we talk about the steel for Building 7. Uh, well, the reason no true buildings, it says, had collapsed was simply because they tried to save those buildings. Uh, whereas Building 7, they simply gave up. And then, uh, it's actually not true. Actually, 2017. Uh, a steel frame building completely collapsed and that was because of widespread fires that the fire department just couldn't control and so they gave up on the building and it eventually collapsed on itself. Now, uh, when you go into the steel mainframe, uh, this has actually been disproven on the show Mythbusters where they uh, increased the heat of steel and actually bent it, which is actually what happened. If you look at many of the uh, steel beams that are inside the tower, you'll see that they were heated so much that uh, they became bent almost like they were crushed under the weight which is why the, t the tower kind of fell in on itself the steel beams didn't just break and explode they bent in and then they fell and finally you'll see the video of the plane crashing into the building so first of all let me get this straight there are actually a lot of videos out there uh, I don't know out there you might have to look hard I had to look pretty hard actually to find some videos but uh it is New York after all, so you're going to get some videos of it. But uh, a lot of videos, uh, they're very bad quality, so it's very hard to tell distinct details. You'll see this one too, it's a bad quality. But so people will stand on this shaky evidence and then preach to you like it's fact uh, and manipulate facts to show you untruths and other things. You know, we see this now with uh, the recent incident, the school shooting. You hear some people calling them actors because their the kid was on the news in California once. You know, despicable things. You know, people in the government have thought this and believed these things, and it's truly horrible. You know, and it's just just horrible to think about. But again, this was a horrible American tragedy. But you have to praise the amazing job that the firefighters and the policemen did, and they risked their lives. And some of them, you know, they died because they wanted to save as many people as possible from this horrible tragedy. And to think this is an inside job is just horrific. However, you cannot give a true argument to somebody without considering what their point of view is. And that's what I aim to do here, is to understand what somebody else might think. And, uh, you know, be able to disprove them, also knowing where they're coming from. So I think... Once you get to that point, you can truly have a political debate and equally understand who could be right and who could be wrong if you could be right or wrong at all. But yeah, my name is Zach Holtmeyer, and uh, I thank you for watching my video.